Hi Leo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of June the 20th to the 27th. I want to thank you truly for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people to my circle requesting private readings with me and blessings to all my return clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any of your questions, I welcome and invite you to go to my private website and that is www. Brenda Taro, spelled T-A-R-O dot info. See you soon, my friends. We start our week on Monday, Leo, with an Earth card. And you have been given the Ace of Earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives and often our jobs and careers and how we bring that currency into that equation, into our circle. And it has to do with our circle, our family, and often ecosystems and Mother Earth. This is telling me that there will be an inflow of abundance coming into some of you. And uh, they're also showing me for others that there is a very promising business venture coming into play right now on your path. There's going to be some important signing of documents and contracts. On Tuesday, you've been given a fire card, Eight of Fire. Fire has to do with <clears throat> representing our ideas and our passions and how we put those into, how we display those things and how we put them into uh, into our lives and how it has to do with adventure and sometimes it has to do with risk taking but mostly it has to do with self development and this is telling me this eight of fire that there is some event coming in at a very fast pace that perhaps you've been expecting it but all of a sudden bam here it is on your doorstep and that your delays are over many things it's showing me many things this week in the beginning of the week uh, Leo are going to be happening all at once so be prepared for that heads up. Crowning your week on Wednesday you've been given a water card and you have been given the night of water. Water cards have to do with relationships sometimes intimate uh, and romantic and other times not. This is telling me that some of you are actually falling in love and may be receiving a wedding proposal. You need to know that when you're going to make this life-changing and hopefully forever decision that you need to be balanced. So please, please, please balance your emotions when you do make this decision. Um, I see others that are perhaps not getting an invitation uh, to uh, and, and, and uh, a proposal uh, or a diamond to walk down that matrimonial lane. Know that you will be getting an invitation to that type of an event. On Thursday, page of air. Air cards have to do with the injustice that comes into our lives and dealing with individuals that bring that kind of chaos and drama. Also, it can have to do with people dealing with issues like legal issues and lawyers. This is telling me that uh, there's going to be some challenging information coming into you and it's going to be delivered in the form of a truthfulness. But the individual bringing it, like this page, doesn't exactly have the tact or the finesse or the maturity to relay this message to you in a, in a, in a nice way and you're going to really be kind of irritated with this person. All I can tell you is please don't attack the messenger. Just receive that message coming in to do with a, a, a truthfulness. Friday, water card, 10 of water. Uh, it shows me that some of you are actually reaping the benefits and enjoying uh, the contentment of a rewarding family. Um, it shows me that your emotional and your material needs are being met, some of you. And for others who that have been questioning their relationship, know that it is a trustworthy one. This card signifies that. On Saturday, fire card, six of fire. This is telling me, this is a great card. This is victory. Things are getting better for you. You've been dealing with this chaos of injustice around you and perhaps lawyers and legal issues, some of you. But know that there's good news on its way. And when it arrives, it's like everybody around you is going to say, oh, wow, finally, look, you finally got what you deserve and, and, you, and, and justice has been done and you're, you're now going to feel victorious about it. Um, almost to the point where some of you I see may be getting public recognition and award for something that you've been doing. 
End of the week Sunday. Water card. The relationship card. Three of water. This is all about a celebration. And it could be in the form of a wedding, a graduation, the birth announcement of a baby. But um, it, it will be an invitation, uh, an announcement that you're going to uh, be made aware of. And perhaps an invitation because they tell me that you need to go to this event and have some fun. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card. And again, I chose the Ascended Masters. Uh, this is what they gave you. You are seeing the situation accurately. So, you know, dealing with these, uh, with these air cards and these fire cards and situations that have been going on around you, um, know that now you are seeing the situation accurately. So accept that. Accept that, that that's what you're seeing is actually accurate and it's true. Okay? At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one quote again. And this is the quote I chose for you today, Leo. Do not be impressed by money, followers, degrees, and titles. Be impressed by generosity, integrity, humility, and kindness, my friend. I wish you a great remainder to today, Leo, and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. I look forward to seeing you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.